Well, we'll bring you in a little walk down to the woods. We'll see how far we get. This is the small piece behind my house. It's been here since I was a boy. And um, as you can see, we don't walk through it very often. Generally, I come down the roadway beside here. So to the road. Oh, shaky video. Daisy, trying to stay on our feet. This is the worst section of the road. It's been used, oh, since 2013. And um, it looks lovely along the hedge, but look at that mess. Ooh. Yes, clearly there's a need for a little bit of stone and a little bit of drainage. We'll get there. And now we come to a nicer bit. It's autumn time and
You can tell that man had a hand in this. Look at all those regimented rows. Oh, they do like their straight lines and their rules, those men, don't they? It's a nice tree, though. Oh, hello, Mr. Nice Tree. Give you a bit of Levin's round later on. So this field in a way was, it's called Gurchin. We used to pick stones in here when I was a boy. We grew barley on it a few times and well, it was never really arable land though. You can see the rushes on the ground. Pretty little oak tree. All these messy straggly sticks up the middle are oh, from where I removed the rack to get access so that we could drive in. And then um, of course the trees re-sprouted and I've continued to drive over it so it looks rather a mess, but within a few months of use, he'll, the scraggly sticks will be gone. And here we are at the end of Gurchin. And we come now to a field, oops, which is called Old Town. It's called on Old Town on account of, um, well, once it was full of huge stones. In the 1970s, My father and my grandfather had some bulldozers in and some men with some diggers and some gelignite. And I don't know whether you can see, but under this pile of sticks is a great big stone. Once it was in the middle of the field and now here it sits at the edge of old town. So there's a line of big stones along this ditch that were once in the middle of this field. When it grew grass you couldn't really tell where the stones were, but now that it's grown forest you can see. 
where the grounds disturbed and the big stones were uprooted. The trees don't grow so well. But they still grow beautifully. We're nearly at um, the place where I'm working. This field was planted in um, 2001. The field was planted with, um, oh my tea is leaking, oh no! My tea is leaking down my leg because my flask fell over. Lovely! Never mind, this field was planted in 2001. It's planted with larch, with oak, with sycamore, with beech. There's some Scots pine. There's some alder. And there's a few escapees. Oh, there's quite a lot of ash. So it's quite diverse. And, um, the larch was planted as a nurse for the oak trees and as you can see it got a little bit bigger than everything else and so although it would be lovely to leave the larch to grow and they are doing beautifully and they will grow into fine trees it's necessary unfortunately to remove a lot of them for the benefit of everything else. And so, we struggle up and down this tangled track to reach the place where we're cutting down the larch trees. <coughs> Excuse my snuffling and coughing, but It's a cool October afternoon and my nose is running. There are some um, really quite nice larch trees here. Some of them I'm going to leave because they're growing quite nicely. Take this one for example. Ooh. Up we go. Not so bad. That tree there is. Oh. Let's go and have a look at him. And there we go. The hand on the bark for scale. So there we have a tree about probably over bark 14 inches of breast height. He's tall and he's straight. And he's 18 years old. Trees. Oh, they do grow beautifully in this country. Can you see the little flash of red through the trees? That must be where the tractor is. And that's where we be working. This is what we're harvesting. Behold, 
gnarly large trees. Anna. A little open space we're creating as we go along. Taking out these two lines of larch straight down here for a start. And um, this chap here behind the tractor, he's next. Anyways, time to stop playing with toys like cameras and put down the leaked flask of tea. Get to work. Vroom vroom. There's the saw. Vroom vroom. Talk to you later. Bye bye.